Today, we're going to look at how you can simplify and secure collaboration inside and outside your company with content collaboration in Citrix Workspace. Our story starts with Lisa, the HR manager, collaborates with Nicole, the hiring manager, to create a statement of work contract. The first thing Lisa does is to log into her workspace. She's prompted for her user ID and password, as well as a one-time password as part of the multi-factor authentication security feature of Workspace. She enters her credentials and is logged in via single sign-on and has access to everything she needs. There's no need to re-authenticate to reach her apps, desktops, files, or anything else within her Workspace. She can even get to files from third-party cloud repositories like OneDrive, Dropbox, or Google Drive without having to re-authenticate. Citrix Workspace can also connect to a SharePoint or a corporate network drive. Lisa has already created a statement of work contract. However, she's looking for feedback from her coworkers. Rather than start an email chain with multiple comments and conflicting directions, she uses Citrix Content Collaboration's feedback and approval workflows to collect final approvals and comments directly within the document. She goes into her workspace to search for the file. She can preview the document and then send that to Nicole for feedback. Nicole receives an email as well as a notification in workspace that a document is waiting for her feedback. Nicole opens the document and is shown some helpful guides and can see the document is in progress. She reads the document and adds her feedback and comments. That shows up on the side. Nicole completes the process by selecting Finish. The document is then sent back to Lisa to review and she is notified by email and in workspace. She can now respond to the feedback by selecting Mark as resolved, agree, or reply to the feedback. She edits the document and saves it in her workspace. The final document is now ready to share with others. There are many ways to share documents in Citrix Content Collaboration, and they all provide security controls. Lisa can send a link to the file to both internal and external users. The link can be generated in Workspace or through a file manager and can be pasted into other applications like Slack or Teams. Emails can be sent directly through Workspace or with an add-on in Outlook. Lisa has different security options available for each link. In this example, she will share the document with a new contract employee, Mark, and will restrict the user to only view online with a watermark and unable to download. Mark gets an email with the link to the file and selects it. He is then taken to the Citrix Content Collaboration website where Mark is instructed to log in and then is taken to the document to view. As you can see, the document has a watermark embedded and it's not available to download. Prior to Mark starting his first day, he needs to send Lisa a copy of his photo identification. Lisa is able to collect any documents by sharing a link for Mark to upload files. This way, large attachments and sensitive files are not shared via email. Citrix Content Collaboration Administrators can create reports, policies, and control user activities. They also have access to audit and view oversight tools to help compliance and risk officers prevent data leakage that leads to violation of government regulations like GDPR, HIPAA, and many others. Administrators can get granular insight into account usage, storage, and sharing activities and export the data to Excel or a CSV format. Reports can be reoccurring or on demand. Content collaboration integrates with third-party data loss prevention systems to identify files that contain sensitive information. Citrix Analytics for Security can be added to provide more granular control by preventing security events before they happen. It's on 24 by 7 by 365 and monitors user activity around the clock to ensure your data stays safe. It can generate valuable insights and automatically execute more focused actions to address user security threats. Analytics for Security aggregates and correlates data across Citrix virtual apps and desktops, networks, Citrix endpoint management, Active Directory, 
Secure Workspace Access, and Citrix Content Collaboration. It also includes data from third-party file cloud repositories like OneDrive, Google Drive, SharePoint, and Network Shares. By examining a user with a high security score, we can see what events caused the increase in security risk. In the detailed view, we can see the data source of the event. Administrators can create policies to trigger actions from a score level or a specific event. The actions include disabling a user, notifying an administrator, start session recording, and many others. Key use cases include preventing ransomware attacks, stopping company insiders from stealing data, and monitoring and protecting remote workers.